For now, begin by running an app get update on your Linux device, so that all packages are up to date. We are now going to download an application called Steghide. Steghide is an application that embeds files within images and audio files, where hackers can hide malware for example. Grab hold of a photo, any photo on your laptop and we are going to use this as the cover image. Being a little bit of a fan of Marvel, I have used Tony Stark. Alongside this, I have created a text file with a message that will be embedded in the Stark photo. Going back to the CLI, running an ls command shows both of the files within the directory. It is also useful to take a snapshot of the hash value before and after we use steg hide with the SHA-1 deep command, so we can observe the change. We are now going to use steg hide to embed the message inside the image of Tony Stark. The command for this isn't too hard, it is steg hide followed by embed minus EF, which stands for embed file, then the text file name. Lastly, there is a minus CF, which stands for cover file and then the image file's name. To protect this in transit, you can put in a password. So this is now done. By running the ls command again, you can see the byte size has increased, proving that something was added to the file. By also running the shard deep command again, we can see that the hash value has also changed. The other side of this technique, we have to extract the file from the image. The receiving Linux device also has steg hide installed. The command for this is steg hide followed by extract, minus sf, which stands for steg file, followed by the image name. Put in the passphrase originally used, if I can remember it, and it will extract the text file from the image. Running an ls-l command from the CLI shows both the files in the downloads folder. Using the cat command on the text file will quickly show the original message sent from the Kali Linux user. Checking on the GUI, we can see even though the image Ottoni is loaded with data, the picture looks just the same. How does Steg hide hide messages within an image? It uses something called the least significant bit, or LSB method. This method modifies the least significant bits of the pixel values in an image to embed hidden data, shown in orange. Since changes to these bits have a minimal effect on the image's appearance, the alterations are nearly imperceptible to the human eye. So when you compared the images of Tony Stark earlier, they looked exactly the same to the human eye. Sadly, this technique is also used for the spreading of malware. In this part, we are going to embed a small piece of code, an exe file to see if antivirus picks it up. I am going to use the same technique of embed minus ef, followed this time by the name, badfile.exe, using the same cover file of Tony. Put in the passphrase again, and the file is ready. We can see that the file size has indeed increased again. I decided to email the file to myself and something interesting happened, the mail provider decided to place the image in spam. Even if I tried to download the file, my laptop senses there is an issue with this file. So malware was indeed detected and blocked. Thanks for watching this video today, by the G-Man channel. There is a lot more where that came from. Like, share and subscribe and we hope to see you again real soon. Bye for now.